everybody, welcome back to the Nocturnal Gaming Network, my name is Zira, and today we are beginning our journey through Assassin's Creed number 2, the second game in Ubisoft's epic series about genetic memory and the unending conflict between the evil Knights Templar whose goal is to control the world and the assassins who seek to free it from all tyranny. This Let's Play series will continue with the story from the first game, so if you haven't seen that, pause this video and click the link on the right to find the first series. And then when you're done, come back here. It'll make much more sense that way. But this series for Assassin's Creed 2 will continue um, with the same formula as the first one. We will be exploring everything, we will be watching all the cutscenes, and we will get to the bottom of this conspiracy. In short, we will be bringing you the whole story. And that said, these videos contain spoilers for Assassin's Creed 2. So real quick before we begin, I want to give Ubisoft a shout out. I want to thank them so much for having wonderful policies regarding Let's Plays on YouTube that make these videos possible. I've put a few of their links in the description. Be sure to check them out. They're amazing. And with all that said, let us begin. My name is Desmond Miles. I'm a prisoner of war. A war I never knew existed. Waged by two groups I never thought were real. Templars and assassins. The Animus showed me the truth. The things I've seen, the things I've been. A thousand years of history flowing through my veins, brought to life by this machine. They're using it. Using me to search for something. They call it the Apple. It's an artifact. One of many so-called pieces of Eden. The Templars collect them. It's how they stay in power. And if the Templars get their hands on another one, everything will change. They want to make us all their slaves. When they first brought me here, I was afraid of what would happen if I tried to fight back. Now? Now I'm afraid of what will happen if I don't. But I can't do it alone. And maybe I don't have to. I met someone. Her name is Lucy. I think she's on my side. And she's gone now. She was taken away by that bastard Warren Vidic and his Templar masters. I don't know what will happen to her, or what will happen to me. All I know is I need to get out of here, and I need to do it soon. My name is Desmond Miles, and this is my story. All right, everyone. So here's a quick recap for you. Last time, as Altair, we confronted and killed our master, Al-Muwalim, in single combat, and obtained the apple. But we were unable to destroy it, and it projected a map into the air. Presumably a map of all the pieces of Eden. But then we were objective ejected from the Animus to discover Desmond is capable of eagle vision, allowing us to see the cryptic messages here on the wall left for us by Subject 16. We have to go. Lucy, where have you been? Why did they... Now. Okay. Lucy's back, she's bloody, and she's got an attitude. What's up, Lucy? What's with the blood? Are you okay? Look, we have maybe ten minutes, maybe, before they figure out what I've done. If we're not out of here and on the road before then... Wait, we're leaving? Desmond, I promise I'll answer all of your questions, later. But right now, I need you to just shut up and do what I say. So please, get in the Animus. All right. Yes. All right. Let's let's get in.
Where are we going, Lucy? What are we doing? We're looking for memories in common. Spingi! Spingi! Di nuovo! Si, si, brava! It is a boy! Oh, my love. Me dispiace. I, I was at the bank when they told me. Did I miss it? Am I too late? Give him here. Giovanni. Shh, my love. It will be all right. Tu sei un auditore. Sei un combattente. Perciò, combatti. Listen to him. A fine set of lungs. And what shall we call him, my love? Ezio. Ezio Auditore da Firenze. Well then, that's quite an opening. Get up. Let's go. Yeah, well, I'm gonna need a second. There isn't time, Desmond. We have to leave. Oh, Lucy. Lucy, you're stealing something here from uh, Abstergo. Ooh. The white light is finally gone. Oh, really getting out of here, huh? Got a nice rooftop Abstergo's garden. Abstergo's got some fucked up interior decorators. Stay close. Hey! You're not supposed to be up here! Open this door! I'm calling it in. We have a breach in the research wing. I repeat, uh -oh. there's been a breach in the research wing. That's walls. Fancy. Right. There they are! Don't let them get away! <laughs> oh. <laughs> Holy shit! Okay. So Lucy is... is badass, and we didn't know it. Cameras. I rigged them to loop old footage. How do you think I managed to hide all your nighttime snooping from Abstergo? You're good. So I've been told. But they're on to us now. We need to hurry. Careful. We need to get to that elevator on the other side of the room. Follow my lead, but keep an eye out for security. I'd rather avoid a fight. Looks like you already had a fight, Lucy, I think. It, and they alerted the guards, didn't they? Is that an animal? Oh. Okay, so we're just gonna walk around them then. Wait. Hold on. Okay. What the? How many of them are there? Stay close. Is it animuses or animi? What do you think, Lucy? Lucy, what do they need with all of them? Desmond. Come on, Desmond. What are you doing? Shh. Fuck. I thought this card would work. It must be on a separate system, and I don't have the code. Wait. Oh, that's a cool trick, Desmond. Come on. How did you do that? I don't know. Let's go. It's always something. What was that in the animus? Subject 16? 
Ezio, Audi, Audi something? I think we've been wrong all along. That's why we need to get out of here. Vidic and the Templars, they're only part of the problem. What do you mean? I'll explain when we get there. Get where? Okay, here we go. Come on, Desmond. You can do this, man. Come on, come on. Come on. You gotta get some of them, Desmond. You can't let her take them all. Oh. Come on, Desmond. What are you doing? Oh, come on in. She's showing you up, Desmond. You can do this. There we go. You got one of them. Yeah. You got one of them. Good job, man. Good job. Get in. You're joking. It's for your own protection. Oh, man. We're almost there. <laughs> in the trunk with you, Desmond. Thanks for that. It was great. Shoving the trunk, bouncing around. Loved this it. way. So, gonna tell me what's going on now? There was a reason for the escape, Desmond. Figures. We need your help. For what? Another treasure hunt through time? Abstergo's gonna replace their Apple of Eden. The map your ancestor found guarantees it. The other assassins, they'll do what they can, where they can, but... What? What is it? We're losing this war, Desmond. The Templars are too powerful. And every day, more of us die. I still don't see how I fit into things. We're going to train you. Turn you into one of us. What? No. No, you've seen me in action. I'm no good at this. And even if I was, it would take months. Years, even. No. Not with the Animus. Not with the bleeding effect. But I'm just one guy. Sometimes, that's all you need. So that's why you found him. My ancestor. What was his name? Ezio? If you can follow in his footsteps, you'll learn everything he did, just like he did. Years of training, absorbed in a matter of days. You broke me out of Abstergo and brought me here just to make me an assassin? Look, there's more to it than that, but it'll have to wait. Trust me, okay? All right, I'm in. Tell me what you need. Really? You're sure? I thought you'd be happy about this. Sorry, I'm just a little surprised. I spent the whole ride over here figuring out how I was gonna convince you to do this. Save it. After what those Templar bastards put me through, I'm ready, willing, and able. Thank you. Lucy! You made it! God, it's been so long. Seven years, can you believe it? Indeed. Welcome back. Ah, so this must be the infamous Subject 17. Desmond Miles, was it? Who are you? I'm sorry, where are my manners? I'm Sean Hastings. This is Rebecca Crane. Nice to meet you, Desmond. Right, well, it's been lovely chatting, but if you don't mind, Desmond, it's best we get straight to work. Time is precious. Doubly so these days. We've got everything set up and ready, Lucy. Just say the word and we'll get going. Here, I brought you something. A parting gift from Abstergo. Whoa! The memory core! This is amazing! With their data, things are gonna go a lot faster. I'll get to work on merging the code. Okay. So, we've just had an eventful, action-packed escape from Abstergo. And now we're in this random little warehouse here, with some nice risen 
floors and glass walls and a bed and who knows how many millions of dollars of computer equipment. And I guess this is the assassin hideout. So we are going to break right here. And when we come back, we will get to know our comrades a little more. And then we will enter the Animus. I assume that that is the Animus after all. Looks a little bit uh, more comfortable than the previous Animus. Maybe not as cool, but, you know, nice to lay back while you're jaunting through history. So thank you all so much for watching. I can't wait to play through this game. My name's Zira, and this is the Nocturnal Gaming Network. Have a wonderful night.